Welcome to the City of St. Petersburg City Council. Hey, good afternoon. My name is Robert Neff. I live at the Max, the uh, moorings of Maximo Condominiums in South St. Pete. Community Service Officer Kelly was quoted in the March newsletter for Maximo Mooring Civic Association saying there were 33 calls complaining about the noise at the Flamingo Resort. These calls were checked out and, found, and no foundation for the complaints were found. He encouraged the caller to stop calling. Caller is singular, not plural. How can all these calls complaining of uncomfortable loud music broadcast by the Flamingo Motel be unfounded? In fact, from January last year through March this year, police responded 35 <coughs> times. Police said noise was okay 16 of 35 times. Flamingo Resort was asked to turn down the music nine times. They were never cited for a noise violation. There was one code violation at 1 a.m. on March 13th when two officers and I heard it 1,100 feet away at my condo. 55% refused to identify themselves. That's very high. Why wasn't Community Service Officer Kelly working with the individual condo associations instead of just talking to two neighborhoods, Broadwater and Maximum Moorings Board? Officer Kelly was also quoted as saying that the person calling to complain should stop. If the complaints were unfounded, residents would not have bothered to call police non-emergency. Here are the affidavits of the people in my condo and the area who have heard the music and the noise. They're suffering with the noise problem just like I am for hours Sunday afternoon, well into the night and other nights. Why would the police tell residents to not call the police for their legitimate complaints? The answer is because none of them has a clear understanding of the various noise ordinances and they failed to issue a citation to this motel. Polite warnings clearly have not worked here. Since 2012, there have been over 85 calls, no noise citations. 73% did not identify themselves. Officers have responded 76 times and no noise citations. What do the residents hear that the police cannot? Callers state the windows are shaking, the house is shaking. It's time to cite the Flamingo Resort with a proper ordinance violation and force them to stop wasting the officer's time. What I would like to have is the clerk play the first audio of a recording from a person who was in the area of the Flamingo on February 25th. St. Pete Police, Edwards, this is a recorded line. Yes, hello. I was going to say to bother about this, but there's just exceptionally loud noise again coming from the Flamingo on uh, 30, what street are we talking? 34th Street South. Um, I called them and requested they turn it down. They have not. And my walls are, are vibrating. All, all the whole thing, everybody hears that it's obnoxious. And where is it located? Uh, it's right on 34th Street South at the junction of uh, 37, 46. Uh, 46th Street South. Okay. And it's coming from the Flamingo. It certainly is. Did you need to speak with the police at all? No, I don't. I just, mm -hmm. I, I want to post a complaint and maybe if they're in the neighborhood, they'll come by and okay. let them have it. It's just obnoxious. Okay. Thank you very, okay. very much. Okay. Safety Police, Williams, this time is recording. Yes, hello. Again, I called you earlier this afternoon complaining about the Flamingo uh, Hotel, the gay establishment down the street from us on 34th Street and 46th Avenue. Um, they have not turned the music down, and it is an intrusion on my tranquility. I mean, every the walls are vibrating. It's just and I asked them very nicely, please turn your base down, and they have not. And this has been going on for hours. Please, please help us, really. I and mean, if I had the phone out the window, you'd hear it. I mean, it makes me just want to cry. It is so pervasive. Um, so please, please, if you have... I've had two other neighbors that have told me their windows vibrate and that the sound that, you know, the rattling. Um, we have three big weekends coming up, and maybe we could take a few of those police officers that keep running over to Walmart and let them just maybe kind of drive by and hear this noise. I think that quite often 
they are somehow warned there are police scanners and things that maybe prevent them from being caught and they lower the volume when someone is coming but the noise is disruptive and we all are there it is actually a residential community unfortunately that backs up to it but there seems to be no respect for those of us who live in these homes and condos around there I just want to give my comment if we have time and can play these other things I'd appreciate that there's another audio St. Pete Police, Edward Gordon. St. Pete Police, Edward, this is a recorded line. Yes, hello. I'm sorry to bother you about this, but there's just exceptionally loud noise again coming from the Flamingo on uh, 30, what street are we talking? 34th Street South. Um, I called them and requested they turn it down. They have not. And my walls are, are vibrating. All, all the whole thing, everybody hears it. It's obnoxious. And where is it located? Uh, it's right on 34th Street South at the junction of 37, 46. Uh, 46th Street South. Okay. And it's coming from the Flamingo. It certainly is. Did you need to speak with the police at all? No, I don't. I just, I, I want to post a complaint and maybe if they're in 